lifts us up. He has this way of, of building us up. God's hand is not a hand to crush, but a hand to build up. And we know that because of what Peter finishes with in verse 7. He says, cast your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Now, in the one sense, we hear that as, well, God knows what we need and he's concerned for our needs. And he is. But there's even more than that. Peter says, cast your cares on God or cast your troubles on God because he was troubled for you. He was troubled for you. What does he mean by that? Well, God knows what our biggest trouble is. He knows that our, our troubles, our greatest, most pressing trouble is not really the things we usually think about. It's not the day-to-day -day stuff, although those are legitimate troubles and God has cared for those too. But God's biggest, our biggest trouble that God sees is our own sinfulness. It's our own brokenness. It's, it's ultimately our sin that leads to death. And when God was troubled for us, what did he do? He didn't just say, oh, they're there. Oh, that's too bad. Or even, you know what? You made this mess. Now you've got to dig your way out of it. No, God was troubled for us by coming into this world. God was so troubled for us that he was willing to take our trouble on himself, our sin on himself. He was willing to go to the cross for us. God caring for us, God being troubled for us actually looks like Jesus hanging on the cross, being beaten and whipped and wearing the crown of thorns and suffering and agonizing death and experiencing death in the worst sense of the word in our place. See, Jesus experienced our greatest trouble so that our greatest trouble will never fall on us. Let me say that again. Jesus experienced our greatest trouble so that our greatest trouble will never fall on us. Now, what does that mean, practically speaking? Well, it means we're going to still have trouble. I mean, we're going to worry about things. There are going to be things that cause us concern. And we can pray about it, and we can cast those cares on God prayerfully. We can humble ourselves under God's mighty hand, but we can also preach the gospel to ourselves. We, we can say to ourselves, Lord God, if you were willing to take on that trouble for me, if you were willing to be troubled like that in my place, then help me to trust and know that any of my smaller troubles you will never back away from, you will never ignore, you will never overlook. A God who was so troubled for us, so concerned for us that he was willing to go all the way to death is not a God who would ignore the smaller things in our life. A God who was troubled all the way to death, as Paul says again in Romans, will not ignore us in our moment of need. 